The more that I'm reading, the more I get fed up I'm working till I'm on a whole nother level They lurking, I'm humble, but I'll never settle I'm certain they hate on my name if I let them My flow is a sharper stilettos Bars hitting harder than shots at the venom My demons retarded like they wanna play But I'm hot like Montana, so pray for the devil What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simicon back here again with another reaction video for you guys Today, for today's reaction video, we got Up Church Taking myself off the market, cuz Alright, so Last night, man, you guys flooded my inbox, my DMs with, bro, do you see what's happening? Are you are you paying attention? And I'm like, what happened? Like, who died? Like, what happened? And I go to Church's page, man, and I see these long videos that he posted. And then I go to his mom's page and I see stream shots. And then I go to this girl, Nicole's page, okay? I guess Nicole... And church with dating or something like that, man. Whatever the case was, maybe they was just friends. Maybe they was just friends with benefits. I don't really know. That's his personal life, man. He keeps it secret now, you know? And I go on her page and I see a bunch of just shit, man. Just a lot of shit that I'm like, mm, mm. that might be skeptical, man. She's telling, she's telling her fans that church is clout chasing and and using her for for clicks on his new album it's publicity is this and that and i'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on and church posted this video and you know church is very blunt he's very transparent and if it's public it's public he's gonna be public about it okay so I, I can't wait to see what, what this is all about, man. If you guys are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of the notification. Gang, 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 gang. We're bringing new videos to you every single day. So without further ado, let's jump up in it. You are now live. You are now live to the world. <laughs> you got like my Kane Brown poster in the back. <laughs> Everybody's like, you must go live. You must tell us about this. You need to say sorry. You can shut the fuck up. What you can fucking do. Who the fuck you think this is? Who the fuck's Instagram you think this is, boy? This is my motherfucking shit, boy. <laughs> Woo! Damn, bro. My comment section is fucking right around now. Talking about, you better get on here and say sorry. You better suck my fucking hairy ass is what you better do, <laughs> cuz. What, you fucking crazy or something? Oh, I am Chase Matthews. Oh, okay. Chase knows. <laughs> fucking? Yeah, you got them right. I'm on one. All these motherfuckers in my comments like, you need to fucking, you need to do this. You need to, you can shut the fuck up what you can do. You can shut the fuck up! <laughs> you are a terrible actor and you clearly are intoxicated. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> I'm definitely not intoxicated. I don't even drink, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Good God almighty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm totally intoxicated. <laughs> man, oh man. All right. <laughs> you didn't miss nothing. And I'm not even going to say no names because this whole, uh, oh, so you're clout chasing. No, you can shut up. This isn't clout chasing. <laughs> I don't understand why she said he was clout chasing when he has more views and more fans than what she has right and also the whole thing with them was when i first seen them together i was like "Ooh, i hope church doesn't fall for this lady because i seen a bunch of shitty videos on her man like i don't know her i never spoken to her like i i don't care about her but i i remember back in the day like what like five or six years ago i think it was like drama alert and like a, a like a bunch of other like big like YouTube channels like that, 
they all had stories about how she was like evil and like vindictive and gaslighting like her boyfriends and stuff like that so i was like "Ooh, church i really hope she does like he doesn't go down this route man and i hope that she has changed you know if they do get in in a relationship and it seems like she hasn't you know, it seems like she's still stuck in her ways and still doing the same thing. Um, like I said, I checked out her Instagram stories and it was all like, yeah, positivity, but he's broke and he's clout chasing. And I'm like, which one is it? Are you going to walk away and say, OK, it's all love. Be positive. Or are you going to sit here and tell your 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 followers that church is blo broke and that he needs you? to fucking you know lift his career like I, I don't i'm like which one is it you gotta pick a side baby girl you know yeah we don't need them here anyways fuck them okay so the other day uh i was chilling at somebody's house and they say some pretty fucking mean things to me. And I was like, yo, this is sketching me out fucking. So I grabbed my boots and I fucking left. Okay. You just left my house. Ryan, come back. You said we can always talk about stuff. You ain't telling me, yo. <laughs> you ain't telling me you're going to go on a date with other people. If that's what you want to do, then go ahead. I'm going home to get sleep. And yeah, maybe we could if you want to insult me before I go to bed. I'm getting in my car. See? That's gaslighting, bro. You know, you know what it is? It's um it's like pushing people to the edge and then when the person snaps, you back off and you're like, whoa, I'm the victim here. Why Why are you yelling at me? Why are you doing this? Uh, we can talk about this. Like, calm down. But you're doing all these things to get that person to, to the edge. And then once they get there, they're wrong. It's crazy, man. Also, I like videos because you can't you can't fake a video, man. You can fake screenshots. Can't fake a video. I feel that though. Being threatened in a relationship, like that's supposed to be your your person, right? And you're sitting here and you're telling me that you want to go like on a date with someone else, like uh you know, like if, if we had that conversation where it was like, OK, we're not in a relationship, we're not really like messing like with each other that way. We just kind of fooling around or whatever the case is, by all means, do your thing. But if we come to an agreement that we're in a relationship or we're together and we're taking this serious, don't tell me some shit like that. That That's a, in my mind. You already cheated. Don't tell me no shit like that. Hmm. Huh. Damn. I mean, shout out to him, though, to knowing his worth and then just getting out because, yeah, no, I wouldn't have sat there and fucking... I, I would not have sat there and took that either, man. I, see, look at that. Gaslighting. If you care about me at all, you'll come back. The point is, you don't care about me enough, right? Because if you care about someone, you're not going to tell them that you're going out to date other people or whatever the case is you're not gonna say that you know that shows me that you really don't care for me so now you're trying to flip it around now that i left and you're trying to be like oh you don't care about us you like what 
That's pushing me to the edge. And then when I snap, when I leave, when I get on, that's you once again coming back and being like, whoa, why are you doing this? What's up with all the animosity? What's up with all the anger? It's like, you got to pick one, man. For real. And I was like, bro, I'm not coming back to none of this sketchy shit, especially after all the fucking shit that happened with Katie. Yeah, fuck that. So, I fucking left so-and-so's house, or whatever in the fuck it is, Airbnb, and I was like, yo, I'm not coming back. I ain't having nobody talk shit to me, you fucking okay. crazy. I, I ain't being, I done been talk shit to enough, motherfucker. I ain't having nobody talk no mother fucking shit to me what you crazy or something yeah fuck that so i grabbed my shit and i left and guess what i left my fucking wallet over there <gasps> oh my god plot twist he left a wallet shut the fuck up i left a wallet over there so fucking four days have gone by since i left the motherfucker over there so yeah i was like yo be loose i don't fucking want any weird shit to happen, like fucking what happened with fucking Diesel Gang fucking. So will you go over there and get my wallet? He said, yes. Well, I got it again. She said, well, he ain't nobody getting it unless he comes over here. See, and this is the shit that I seen, right? So she's talking all this shit about a wallet, talking about, oh, I'm trying to send it out. I'm trying to mail it. Someone contacted you on his behalf saying, I can come get the wallet. Just give me the wallet. Everything will be good. Y'all go separate ways, right? Nothing else has to happen. And then you say no, right? And then you start talking about how you're not dating his team, his manager. And it's like, just give him the wallet if that's the case, right? And stop going on Instagram, opening up his wallet, talking about, oh, like, do you need some money? You're broke. Like, it's... My head was hurting just like seeing all of it. Like I'm, I'm like, what are you? Like, what's the reason? Look at that. I'm not dating his team. No offense. Like, what? What does that got to do with the wallet? Fuck that! You ain't tricking my motherfucking ass, motherfucker. I'm not coming over there to get shit, especially not alone. So. Motherfuckers, then oh, yeah, Chase Matthews, fuck you and your white trash friends, yeah, <laughs> you know, anyways. So, I sent Billy to go get it, they wouldn't give it, she wouldn't give it up, wouldn't give it up. I ain't got my bank card, I ain't got, I ain't got my license, I ain't got nothing, nothing. So, then he couldn't get it. He hits me up. He's like, she said she's not giving it to nobody unless you come over here and you get it. Yeah, once again, fuck that. Don't believe me? Go fucking Google fucking uh, Matthew Santorno, motherfuckers. And uh, Nicole had a tendency of whenever Matt would look at other women or interact with other women, even if it was a professional relation. See, this is, this is the video I was talking about. I remember watching this video and being like, what the hell? And there's m many, there was like plenty of videos on YouTube about this like chick. Like I said, I never had a conversation with her or anything, but I know from the videos that she's not all there, you know? And no one can say anything other than that to me because it's like, Multiple people are not going to come out and say the same thing unless it's true, you know, and that's just the case, baby. That's just the case. Relationship with someone, say, from like YouTube Canada or something like that. She would become accusing and angry and say, you must be, you know, you want to, you know, you want to get with them. You must be cheating on me. You know, uh, you're so popular. You must be cheating on me. And she did this behavior at this party and he had had enough. He broke down at the party and he said, listen, we, I have to leave. Uh, I can't do this. So they took an Uber back to her apartment because he had been keeping luggage there because she lives in, she lives in Toronto. He didn't at the time. So, and he was visiting. So uh, he grabbed his luggage from her apartment and said, I'm leaving. Now uh, at this point, Nicole blocked the exit, said, you're no. not going anywhere. Um, and Matt said, 
get out of my way, I'm leaving. And at this point, uh, he continued to try to leave. She continued to block him. And she struck him in the face, hit him, physically hit him in the face. So then I sent my guy Rob over there to get it. Rob said, well, she ain't giving it to me. I said, well, fuck, call the fucking, call Metro to fucking, to go up there with you to knock on the door and get it. Well, and this is all recorded, by the way. Fucking, they go to get my wallet a second time, my security guard, and then the fucking police. Well, guess what? The fucking Metro Police College. She's like, what? I don't fucking live in Nashville. No fucking shit, but you've been here in Nashville for a fucking month. Then you try to backtrack and send this to my mom and act like, oh, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Lying ass. See, look at that. I can send his stuff in the morning. Like, just give him the wallet. Just give him the wallet. Stop being like, that's, oh, uh, man. She's trying to be vindictive. And manipulative, and it's just not working. It's it just it's backfiring. It, it's making her look even more cuckoo than what she is. And on her Instagram, she is just man. She is just going crazy. She is just going crazy and and just spitting out the dumbest things. Going to the 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 police stations and saying, "You see, I'm trying to give it back." It's like you could have just gave the wallet back in the first place if that was the case. Everything would have been good. Everything would have been solid. Everybody would have walked away and be like, "I right, no, 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 no skin off of my bones. We all good. But nah, you want to play this little game, this little childish game. And I think she's like 31 or something like that. She should not be doing that. You know, should not be doing that. That's And, and that shit's just crazy. What do you think? The police are stupid. They can look at your fucking Instagram and see it says, Hey, hi, I'm in fucking Nashville. So they tell, she tells the police that she don't live in Nashville. Well, no shit. You're from fucking Canada. But, um, so yeah. So then I got the police to try to go get it. And guess what? I still don't have my fucking wallet, bro. And if y'all goofy motherfuckers think I'm going somewhere with somebody like that who's got that kind of past, Mm. Fuck you! For real. I ain't going nowhere like that alone. What are y'all crazy or something? Yeah, fuck that. So guess what, motherfuckers? I don't give a fuck if you believe this story or not. It don't fucking matter. Cause guess what? I don't give a fuck if you fucking believe it or not. I still don't got my wallet. So what the fuck does that tell you? This is my motherfucking Instagram. So if y'all motherfuckers want to get him, like, oh, you should say sorry. You should suck my fucking ass, boy. Now, now I'm going to go play Call of Duty. Man, I truly wish church happiness and I, I hope that he finds someone that truly wants the best interests for him. Um, he definitely needs to take some time and just be by himself and stop looking, you know, because the people that are coming into his life right now for his wise women, they all have a, a vindictive personality, very manipulative. Um, they all want something, as you can tell. And it's really sad to see, man. It's really sad to see. Nobody gets far in life like that. You got you to gotta love and care for one another. And Church wears his heart on his sleeve, man. And he's, a, he's such a great guy. It sucks seeing him go through this, man. Truly does. But if you guys like this video, man, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.